final battle between Captain America and Thanos is one of the most intense fight scenes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I wanted to replicate that scene, but in miniature form. Let's go! The project started by trolling through the internet trying to find good models of the Avengers and Thanos. I was looking for a while and as soon as I found this model, the whole entire project exploded into my head and I was ready to get started. This model is a 3D file that you purchase and print yourself at home on a resin printer. I got Captain America wielding Thor's hammer with his broken shield matching up against Thanos. These models perfectly match the part of the movie just after the portals have opened and the Avengers and Thanos army charge towards each other. I hit print and these models each took around 8 hours to print. Something that has been resin 3D printed needs to be thoroughly washed, so it gets chucked into a jar of methylated spirits and gets a good shape. Thanos was printed hollow, so it had resin inside him still. This is supposed to save resin, but honestly it wasn't worth the effort. A lot of resin still needs to be drained out, so Lord forgive me for what I am about to do. After that ordeal, the models need to be cured, so I set them out in the sun. This just hardens the resin so they keep all of their details. It took a little bit of work to get these models to fit together perfectly because I scaled them down a little bit. I built them with a dab of superglue and filled in the gaps between each of the pieces with a little bit of modeling paste. I primed both models in grey and we are ready. Let's start painting Captain America. I watched Endgame to make sure I knew exactly how Captain America looked in this exact scene that we are recreating. I started laying down some paint. To paint a miniature like this there are a few steps. Essentially what we're going to do is start at a middle colour, make that colour a little bit darker and then add layers of brighter colours to make our miniature look more realistic. In this scene Steve is pretty badly beaten up and he has dirt all over his face because he has just received an ass whooping. So I reflected this in his paint job. You know, despite getting absolutely riggedy wrecked, Captain America did really well in this fight against Thanos. I used to think that he was pretty weak compared to the other Avengers, but this scene changed my mind. Who do you think is the most powerful Avenger and who do you think is the weakest Avenger? I'm curious about what other people think. My most powerful pick would probably be Thor and weakest, I don't know, maybe Hawkeye or Black Widow? Like, nothing against them, but I mean, can a regular person really compete against literal gods? By making his armor a bit darker and a bit muddier, I also added weathering to his broken shield, and after finishing him off, it's time to start with Thanos. This big boy is an incredible model. If you want to get your hands on these, check out Gambody. They have some of the best 3D files out there. I put a link in the description down below. Again, I watched the scene from Endgame and I got a reference photo to know where I should be putting my colours. Ultimately Thanos is pretty simple, he's purple, black, gold and has a little bit of silver. Painting gold is a bit of a pain so I started with silver and then after the silver is dry I'm going to add a layer of gold over that and that makes it look a lot better, a lot faster. After blocking in the main colours I added a wash. This is a thin paint that settles in the recess of the model adding depth and shadows. After that dried, I go back with all of my original colours, and in multiple layers, gradually getting lighter each time, I add highlights. This is what transforms the model from looking like a cheap toy, to a high quality miniature that I spent hours, and hours, and hours, painting. After painting the two models for our scene, we have just one thing left to do. Now, we need to actually make the scene that these models will go in. In Endgame, the fight is taking place in a massive crater, so there needs to be lots of rubble. The problem is, in the scene with Steve, Rogers, and Thanos, they are a long way away from each other. And because I don't want this thing to be super long and skinny, I compromised and I made them a bit close together. Everything else resembles the movie pretty well. The base started out with me cutting a large piece of wood, and then I added two sides out of MDF board, and this built the shape that everything is going to work around. I filled it in with some XPS foam, and I clamped it together so that there wasn't any warping. I took the piece and I put it through my hot wire cutter. This made the foam match the wood perfectly. I cut off a small block of foam and tore it up a bit to make it look like realistic concrete. I also cut some thick wire and stuck that in for some extra detail. To get a nice looking ground cover, I mixed up broken up cork with plaster of Paris. I did this with my hands and I slapped it all over the base. 
It didn't have as much texture as I wanted it to, and this stuff hardens super fast, so I needed a solution ASAP. I threw a handful of dirt on top and I mixed it in. Now this added some really nice fine detail texture, and it was exactly what I was looking for. After spreading that around and giving it a couple minutes to harden, I went back in and I smoothed it out for a bit more with my finger. I hit the edges of the base with some wall filler, and then I sanded it smooth to get those crisp, crisp edges. The whole thing got a spray paint of black, and then after mixing a grayish brown color, I started dry brushing. Each time I went to get more paint on my brush, I changed the color a little bit so there was more variation. I also painted the concrete, and after letting everything dry, I did another dry brush with all the same colors, just slightly lighter and a bit more sparingly. After cleaning up the edges, the base is done! To attach the models to the base, I drilled into their feet using a pin, and I glued them down. And with that, we're done! Let's go check out the final piece! This project was a heap of fun, and I plan on doing a lot more Marvel characters. Who do you want to see next? And that's all for this video, guys. And until next time, keep crafting.